Fantastic Explorers between the lines, please, in three, two, one, go. Let's check out what these two alliances have. It's the Sandstorm, and they cannot see successfully. They have to use their vision systems. Mad Talon's placed a hatch panel already. It looks like 1678's doing the same, but we actually lost that hatch panel. It's fallen off. Oh, they're right aligned side. Cargo ship. They may need to go back and get that one again. We have some cargo rolling out on both sides with these teams very close. Blue Line's actually in the lead at the end of the Sandstorm. Daedalus headed over to their cargo station. They're grabbing a hatch panel. Looks like they're going to start loading up the Red Alliance. Actually, they're going to go for the nose cone of their cargo ship. Here comes 1678. They have dropped on some cargo in the cargo ship. These teams neck and neck. Blue Line's pulling ahead by one, two, three hatch panels. Looks like we got three hatch panels placed so far. Four, actually, by Madtown on the rocket. And we got two more hatch panels placed by 1678. The Citrus Circuits on the far side. Rocket for the Red Alliance. Red Alliance pulling ahead now to 34. We've got 28, 39. Daedalus on the Blue Alliance, dropping off some cargo with three points in the cargo ship for the Blue Alliance. And their alliance partners, Indigo Dynamics, are dropping off cargo into the nose cone of that cargo ship as well. Mad Tile now grabbing some cargo as they have completely filled up all six of the required hatch panels on that rocket. Now they're going, filling it for cargo, preparing it for liftoff. If they can get six pieces in there, that's one full 30 point rocket. And they've got two in there so far. Here comes the Citrus Circuits getting the sixth hatch panel placed on the far red rocket. That's all the hatch panels on all of the rockets for the Red Alliance. And now Citrus Circuits is loading that up with some cargo. Over on the Blue Alliance, we got Indigo Dynamics. They've got some hatch panels. They got one, two hatch panels now placed on the Blue Alliance side rocket for a score of 41 so far. And now Citrus Circuits dropping off some cargo in the top level of their rocket as well. Here comes Madtown completing that rocket, making it ready for liftoff for a total of 30 points on that rocket by Madtown. And now Madtown's grabbing some hatch panels. They're going to finish off the cargo ship in the center. We're at T minus 35 seconds, and the Blue Alliance is at 43 points. It looks like we've got Indigo Dynamics. They've got another hatch panel for a total of four placed in their rocket, and their alliance partners Daedalus is loading in the cargo on that blue side rocket. But now we're at T minus 24. Both of the Red Alliance rockets are now ready for liftoff. They're full with six pieces of cargo and six hatch panels by the Red Alliance. And now we're at T minus 15 seconds remaining. Looks like the Citrus Circuits are going to go for their climb, single 12 point climb by the Citrus Citrus Circuits. And Madtown looking to get up to level two. 16, 64, 74, Indigo Dynamics, they're up to level two. Meanwhile, Daedalus is up to level three in the Blue Alliance. We got one second remaining and zero in semifinal number one. We've got Blue Robots up on the HAB platform. Red Robots up on the HAB platform. Alliance with a score of 115. Blue Alliance with a score of 72. This is a penalty-free match. So while it isn't our high score of the day, 115 is the current world record for a penalty-free score in the playoff matches.